Yeah, hopefully you can hear me okay. I think I've just got heavy to do now to be able to well half attempt to do some decent videos for you. I've got a uh, microphone so I'm not relying on the audio of the uh, camera which which isn't the best. I've um, just got myself a fancy new gimbal. What's that fancy? It's it wasn't a dear thing but Seems to be quite good. Um, I'm actually at Stanage Edge. Um, I've just been down to Longshore, but I couldn't really capture anything there. I did vlog it, but I wouldn't be having any images from there. It just didn't seem to work very well. Um, I don't know if you can see, but we're not going to be in for a really good sunset, but it's all pastely and misty which i do actually quite like rather than the blazing sunsets with the right dramatic sky i think i'd much prefer this and where i'm going to is over there is a, a group of millstones which i have photographed before if i can figure it out to do it i'll uh, i'll put you a picture up in a minute um, it did actually look quite good that day. I was actually on the, with Stephen Elliott, like a little photography day course thing that uh, my partner got for me for my birthday. Yeah, quite in, quite enjoyable day out with Stephen. And we was up there taking some photos. Really think anything. But then there was a slight break in the clouds, and uh, all the uh, god rays came down, as they call them. Which, which really made it look, you know, quite good. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get up here before that nice colour goes. So yeah, um, I'll switch it back on in a minute when I get there. It uh, shouldn't be long, it's only, it's only there. I mean anybody that can't walk very well or you know, can easily get lost quite like me, it's, uh, it's quite easy, yeah, you just park down there, literally there's just a road, the road's down there, park down there, and I'd say it's all of a, all of a 10 minute walk. But what I will say is, people seem to get lost. I know that sounds ridiculous to saying that you can't really get lost, but when you come up to the edge here, you don't go scrambling up over onto them rocks it's just before anyway I'll show you in a minute right so yeah um, you just walk along that path that I was on and then when you come up to this little sign see the little sign there yeah you don't go up there you go to where you can see them people are there's some people already taking photos of them just up there just up that path, so yeah, I'll see you up there in a minute. There's a couple more photographers here. Yeah, doing their thing, but the uh, no stones are just there. But uh, while I was up here, I saw this uh, old trough, and it looks quite good in the camera with the sun setting just over there yeah I don't know if you can see the back of the camera so what I've gone for is f11 I've got the uh, grads in um, 
here comes Flora F11 put the grads in focus on the foreground so it all should be sharp all manual mode Yeah, I'm just putting the uh, timer on my camera to stop it any shake. There you go, that should make for quite a nice image. I'm going to try my hand at doing a, a starburst effect. Never really had much luck with that. So, I'm going to go to F22. Timer mode. Maybe see what that comes out like. And it back down to F alone. Looks like it could be quite a nice scene. Yeah, um, yeah, quite a pleasant evening. Um, come up here, I've met a nice couple that were here taking a photograph. Uh, they live quite local, so they come up here quite regular, I think. Yeah, for this composition here, it's going to be one of the classics, I think. Um, I can work this dim more to try and show you it. Yeah, but you've got the uh, millstones there. Obviously, you've got uh, quite a nice sunset happening over there. Uh, I'll just uh, do the exposure so you can see. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's looked quite nice. The sun's just gone down now, so you're getting all the deep reds and things like that. Um, I'll just, what I'll do is I'll flip the screen on the phone and then I'll show you my composition in the back of the camera. So Yeah, uh, hopefully you can see this okay. What I've got is, uh, there's some reeds down here. Let me just change the exposure for you. You're a bit dark, aren't you? There you go. Yeah, so uh, what I've got is the reeds here, and they're kind of like leading you in to uh, the millstones a little bit. I don't know if you can see at the back of the camera, okay. But yeah, uh, I've gone for F11. Uh, right, the dog's going flipping nuts here. Yeah, and I think it's made for quite a nice, uh, quite a nice photo. I've got me uh, grads in, just to bring down the down the sky. Um, I'm at F11 and I've had the uh, timer on the camera. It's always a good thing if you've got a timer on your camera. Mine's quite easy to set up. Um, just put the information on and yeah, click down. You scroll on the wheel. Um, there you go, two seconds. Just change shut the speed Instagram's about right there yeah two second timer oh, I'll have the dog in it come Polar over here What I found with the Fuji film is um, a bit annoying. If you put the timer on, you, you, know, you can do that easy enough. But when you turn the camera on and off again, it resets. So every single time you've got to redo the timer. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see the top of that screen there. The clouds are absolutely stunning now. In my eyes, it's probably the best time to be out. Um, I'll just 
take you a walk over here to where I found before. There's an old, I don't know really know what it is, but yeah, that's there. And I did take a photo here, obviously with the reflection, looking down over into the valley. Hopefully that one's gonna come out quite nice. Something a little bit different and uh, yeah, there's your millstones if anybody wants to uh, have a crack at them at any time. They're quite nice. So I might just set up for uh, maybe one more composition. Look at that sky, absolutely beautiful, absolutely. Absolutely stunning, it just doesn't do it. Sometimes a photograph just doesn't do it justice absolutely cracking to be up here right now beautiful absolutely beautiful yeah uh, <coughs> I just tried another shot now and what I've gone for is a, uh, a long exposure one in about 20 seconds because the sky the clouds are moving quite quick and we've been so nice and pastely i was hoping to maybe get it to you know flow across the scene at the top get it all to like smudge out and um, hopefully it's going to come out quite nice because on the back of the camera it is looking rather nice one more before my battery goes actually Oh, I'll show at the back of the camera in a minute. Oh yeah, this is the view at the back of the camera. 30 second exposure. Yeah, hopefully that's going to come out quite nice. So yeah, uh, I think I'll leave it there and uh, I'll post a few of the images up if, if they're any good. Well, even if they're not, I might just post them up and uh, you, can have a, you can have a bit of a laugh at them, can't you? <laughs> but yeah, I do recommend you uh, coming out, even if the weather doesn't look very good. Yeah, you can still get some, some nice images. You never know what it's going to do.